successive Ontario governments have been restructuring the workers' compensation system on the backs of injured workers. Instead of being held to account for properly funding workers' compensation, the government has let employers off the hook. In the name of making Ontario competitive, the Mike Harris PCs gave rebates to employers. Then, the Liberals claim the Workplace Safety and Insurance Board, WSIB, had a shortfall. This shortfall was used to justify changing the ways compensation is given and reducing workers' compensation while still giving employer rebates. For years, the WSIB had used schemes like deeming to cut benefits to workers. When a worker is unable to work due to a workplace injury, they get 15% less than their regular wage in workers' compensation. If the WSIB deems that a worker can do a job for $15 an hour for 40 hours a week, then it deems that worker to have that job, even if they don't. The phantom job wages are then deducted from their compensation. Due to cuts to benefits because of schemes like deeming or alleged pre-existing conditions or not listening to injured workers' healthcare professionals about their abilities to return to work, Workers in pain are forced onto social assistance. The public purse is then made to pay, instead of the employers that benefited from these workers' labour. With these schemes, the WSIB no longer has a shortfall, as it is funded to the tune of $40 billion. While at the same time, injured workers' compensation has been reduced. Instead of ending the schemes to cut off injured workers, the Ontario PC government is giving a 30% reduction in the amount employers have to pay in premiums to compensate for workers injured on the job. This is unacceptable.